Okay, so this is the relative permeability curve. From the relative permeability curve, we now go to proceed to construct the refraction of flow. But before that, I want to just show you the basic. Okay, so the first thing is, of course, what fractional flow is. So fractional flow is FW. Simply put, it's water cut. It's the flow rate divided by the total flow rate. Okay, flow rate of water, I mean. So QW divided by the QW plus QO. Okay, and then using, of course, the, the theory. Okay, we know using Darcy's equation, we know the flow rate of oil and flow rate of water can be analyzed or can be described using this equation. You can see this KO is effective permeability to to oil and KW effective permeability to water and viscosity for oil and water. Okay, and the fractional flow okay, starts here. I will not go into the detail, okay? But yeah, the, 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 the general form of fractional flow is like this. Okay, and you can see we have the Q total there. And you see the fractional flow is determined or influenced by the effective permeability and also the viscosity and the density difference between the displaced fluid and displacing fluid. In this case, the displaced fluid is oil whereas the displacing fluid is the water. And PC is of course the capillary pressure, but in many cases we can neglect the, the PC, okay? And alpha is the, the angle between, actually between the inject, I mean alpha is the dip, yeah, the reservoir dip. Okay, so if you have perfectly horizontal uh, reservoir so sin the sinus of this horizontal reservoir will be zero okay sin of zero degree is zero okay and that's actually what our case is later i will show you and yeah to make it more comfortable we change the effective permeability to relative permeability so that's why we get this one Okay, so KO is actually K multiplied by KRO. So I just expand the KO, relative effective permeability to oil. I expand it to the absolute permeability multiplied by the relative permeability. And I do the same thing here. Okay. And as I said before, capillary pressure, in many cases, we can neglect it. Okay change in capillary pressure so that's why we get this zero here okay and the plus sign here is changed to minus okay because we have zero here and let's say our the reservoir dip is zero okay so it's not a tilt reservoir it's a horizontal perfectly horizontal reservoir for example so we get this this term will be zero because everything, anything uh, multiplied by sinus of zero will be zero. So this one will be zero, okay? And it simplifies our model a lot. Okay, so I just erase that, okay? Of course, it's a simplification, right? But yeah, many things in engineering world are, are simplified. Okay, here. Yeah. So what I have left is this one. So fractional flow FW is 1 divided by something below there. Okay, something down there. 1 plus the ratio of relative permeability. Relative permeability to oil divided by relative permeability to water multiplied by the viscosity of water divided by viscosity of oil. So this is from, from a very general form, we can reduce and simplify it to only get this form, which is very, very easy, okay? 
So you can see to construct fractional flow, what you need is only the relative permeability information and viscosity information. Okay. And of course, you also know the viscosity. If you don't have value for viscosity of water, most of the time, you can just assume the viscosity of water to be one. But of course, you must have viscosity of oil. Okay. You, I'm sure you will have data. So it's not a problem actually to construct a fractional flow curve. Okay. So let's go to the fractional flow construction.